up friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM19's The Hall of Famer. My friends, it's all going very, very well here in the life of a Hall of Famer. Uh, we are still very, very far away from completion in the series, I can say that, uh, but I'm absolutely loving life. If you missed last episode, it is above right now, my friends. Uh, click it, go get caught up, make sure you watch it. It was a very, very good episode. Uh, one of the more entertaining episodes we've had to this point. Uh, a little bit of admin to get through today before we crack on with today's episode. First one, you're probably thinking that it looks a bit different. I'm using the big camera once again i think i've got to the bottom of the problems so we're going to crack on and get using this camera again i do prefer it uh the little point and shoot over there uh has done a hell of a job and i'll probably be using that actually for uh, projects in the future because i did quite like using it with the recording uh but uh, as, as well the christmas period my friends is upon us it's going to be probably a reduction in the amount of uploads that you get next week and the week after because obviously we've got to think about you know Christmas Day, Boxing Day, Christmas Eve and the New Year period. Uh, it will all be announced properly in a weekly waffle that's going out on Saturday so keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to know what's coming to the channel over the Christmas period. But uh, the January transfer window is done and dusted. We've signed some players, I've got to introduce you to them and then we've got another couple of big games coming right up. Okay, ladies and gents, so let's crack on with the transfers first before we do anything else. Uh, I've brought in three loan signings, one permanent signing. Uh, this guy, honestly, I love the look of him. He played two games, got bloody injured. But Alexandra Nigu, uh, a Romanian a centre midfielder, I brought him in because obviously we know that Inan did go down with an injury. So I thought I'd bring this guy in. He played two games, picked up a bit of a nasty knock. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be back in three to six weeks time. So we should see some of him before this season is over. He looks like a tasty little prospect. I'm sure you'll all agree. 28 years of age, not so much a prospect, I guess I should say, but a tasty little player for us at this level. Another loan signing that I've brought into the club in this window is Alexander Dragasevich. I think that's how we're saying that surname. Uh, we've brought him in on loan as well, uh, just till the end of the season. I wanted more cover on the left side of the midfield. Uh, the two left wingers we've got, Zou, uh, Zach Hoover, excellent player, but CC not, not really done it for us this season. We needed a better backup, and this guy can play uh, all along the left side, apart from in the more attacking, and obviously we do play with a flat midfield really really like the look of him i think he's going to be a real good addition to the team and the last of the loan signings my friends is tolga sahin uh, he's coming uh, from istanbul sport and uh, yes a right-sided player i feel, felt like we just needed another one if not just for cover uh, for the fact that uh, one of the guys over there thinks it's sahin he cannot play uh, in the more defensive right side of the midfield and that hurts us uh, he just doesn't really put in the performances and if we were to lose erdem and you're going to see we've actually lost erdem for a few weeks uh, it's a big, big problem. So welcome this guy to the club. And the last signing that we have made, my friends, is Aaron Appin Dangoy. I think that's how we're saying that. Jesus, that is a mouthful. We think we're just going to call him Aaron from now on. Uh, he's a Gabonese central uh, defender. He was released from his last club. I just felt the need that we needed another one. He's coming on a rotational contract. Pretty good player uh, and good enough to start for us, it has to be said. And he will probably be getting used quite a fair bit. Uh, he's got a lot of caps for his country. I've just noticed that. And uh, we've signed him up on a free transfer. Lovely, lovely job. So we now come to the fixture screen, uh, my friends. We've got to get caught up, haven't we, uh, on what we've done between the last episode and this one. Uh, if you didn't go and catch last episode and you hadn't seen it, you're going to spoil it for yourself now, but you did miss an absolute barnstormer. We went out on just one goal on aggregate in the cup against a Super League team. What an effort it was last episode. Thoroughly enjoyed as well. And we've gone on a real, real run in the league, and it's really done great things for us. You're going to see we have kept... Five clean sheets in the league now, back to back. Uh, it's actually six, I believe, because we kept one before the cup game. So pretty incredible form in the league at the moment. But you'll see. We did uh, start the uh, start this little run with a good 2-0 win against uh, Umbrania Spore. Marty Mullen with a goal and an own goal from Olgan. Uh, it was a team we were expected to beat, that has to be said. Uh, we did play a couple of friendlies, obviously they have a winter break in Turkey. Then we come up against Belaspor and a 0-0 draw, a disappointing 0-0 draw as well because they were struggling in the league. They were 13th, 14th in the table at the time, but just could not break the deadlock. But we did come up against Adana Spor next and Marty Mullen again in the goals. Um, he just snatched one on the 73rd minute. Uh, you'll see Erdem Yilmaz went down with an injury in this game and it's not a good one so I will come to that later on uh, then, we, then we came up against Nazili a team that were promoted with us you will remember 
went away from home and got a great, great victory against them. Uh, Engine Bastuz and Luca Dreyer with the goals. Excellent stuff. Dreyer really has stepped up in the last few games. And then I did play her tyre sport off camera as well. I know I was going to bring that in today's episode, but I played that because it's opened a door for a real big episode and one that could be very, very entertaining today. We got a good 1-0 win. We dominated this picture. Should have won it by more than one goal, but we are a little goal shy. You'll see we're not scoring a lot of goals at the moment, but we're not letting them in. And that's a real, real positive for us at the moment. Luke Dreyer, again, it was a free kick, lovely goal. Uh, so today's episode is actually going to consist of uh, uh, Dennis Lisport. Uh, they're, go they're going okay in the league. They're 11th, a team that we should be competing against, especially at home. And then we're going to be coming up against Urs Erzurum Spore, who are top of the table. And that's why I played the Hattaya Spore game, because I just felt like this could be an excellent fixture to play on cam. It's going to be us versus first. And if we were to go and beat them, who knows? The sky could be the limit. And as a result of all these results, good things are happening in the league. Let's take a quick look at that table. So here we are, my friends. This is how the league table's looking. You're going to see some teams have already played some of their games in this weekend of fixtures. So if we were to win, we could go even higher than we are. But we are sixth in the table. I said last episode, I didn't think we were in with a shout of the playoffs. But there's not actually that long left. We're sitting in sig. It is very close. We can't get too ahead of ourselves, but I think we're going to finish 10th, at least 10th and above. You'll see there's quite a big gap uh, starting to form. We're on 38 points. Uh, Dennis Spohr down in 11th are on 28 points. That's a 10-point gap. So I feel like a top-half finish is definitely on for us this season if we can keep this up. But you'll see 22 played, level wins, 5 draws, 6 losses. Uh, good goal difference, but a lot of the teams above us have got a far better one. 38 points on the board. What a season we are having right now. And we've got two more big games today. Can we get six more points? And well, ladies and gentlemen, we do start today's game at home against Dennis Sport. And uh, yes, I I'm saying that name all wrong. I know you're going to all criticise because I can't speak. And I can't say these Turkish bloody names. But it is what it is, my friends. And uh, we're going very, very well. You'll see the team we're going to go with. I just want to cover a couple of things before we crack on. I know a lot of this is going to be hidden behind the cam. But uh, Lukman Gore is injured uh, four to eight days. So not too long. We're going to get away with that one. You'll know that Nigu, Nigu the guy I've already introduced you to, three to six weeks. Uh, then we've also got Mehmet out injured, two to six days. He was out for a while, a couple of weeks. Inan, obviously, probably done for the season, three weeks to two months uh, and then you'll see Erdem still injured he's out for probably another six days so we have a little bit of a mini injury crisis here at the club at the moment one of the reasons I attacked the transfer market the way I did, probably didn't want to bring in, actually bring in that many players. I, I knew I wanted a centre-back and I wanted a left mid, but had to just bring in a little bit more. But uh, let's crack on with today's game. We are all up to date now, completely up to date. So we're going to go with Everett in goal, Engine, uh, Aaron and Furkan in the defence. We're going to go with Bessie uh, in defensive midfield, Tolga and Zach Huber on the wings, both been doing a pretty good job of it. Uh, we're going to go with Dreya and Batura in the midfield, loving that partnership right now. And that and Mullen up top. Um, I can tell you right now, Gonan just doesn't get a sniff in this team, not been performing well, and to Kerry's form, completely dropped off. So this is our starting partnership up top for the time being. Let's hope we can get three big, big points. Let's do it. So here we go, ladies and gents. We get this game kicked off. Sorry about the bloody cursor being on the screen. Uh, whoa, very, very early highlight, 50 seconds into this game. And someone just went down on the edge of the box there. Dreya was... I, I actually think they're going to give a penalty. I see that guy go down on the edge of the box. Penalty review. They have given a penalty. And we could go 1-0 up very, very early in the game here, ladies and gents. Mullen's going to step up to take it. Oh, and he puts it away with a plum. I didn't even see the bloody ball move from the spot. 1-0. Right. 13 minutes in. Tolga... Oh, and it's 2-0. What a free kick to the back post. Back inside. Dreyer puts it in. Get in now. Okay, throw in. 28 minutes on the clock now. Zach Huber with the ball. That's ended up in the back of the net. It's just hit Alassana Diabe, their defender. It's 3-0. This is easy. And, uh, yeah, this, this is going well today. This is going very well today. Every time it comes to a highlight, it's us. We're on the attack. Ball out to Tolga this time. Ball coming inside. That's unlucky. Are they going to manage to break on us now? No, not if Aaron has... Oh, engine, that's not a good clearance from you. But well done, Tolga. Defensive side of the pitch, doing a job. Coming in on loan, really trying to impress, really enjoying his work. Oh, he goes past the man. What a ball. 
Oh, it hit the crossbar. What a cross that was. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's half time. We are three nil to the good and we have restricted them to not a single shot. What a performance that is from the boys. I wanted a good performance, but I didn't realize they were going to give me this. I'm actually going to make a change at half time. Uh, Akhtar's had a really good game, but I feel like this is the sort of game we bring to Kerry in and see if he can snatch a goal because we need to get him back in the goals. I like to rotate, especially when the games come thick and fast. Let's see what he can do in this second half. Right, there is a corner to them now. That's a good corner. I don't know what happened there. Was that a defensive clearance? Was it a save? The ball was ping-balling around like nobody's business. Right, Aaron, free kick into Baturai, into Drea. Comes wide to Tolga again. He has wanted the ball all day long. Back out there to Zach Huber. Can he get a ball in? Yes, he can. A mighty Mullen with another finish. This guy is in the goals right now. I am loving his work. Right, we're going to make some changes. We are 4-0 to the good, ladies and gentlemen. We can rest some players, and I love it when we can do that. I'm going to leave Mullen out there because he's on a hat-trick. Obviously, we'll leave to carry out. He's just come on. Uh, who are we going to bring off, though? I think Ramazan. Ramazan, Ramazan. Yeah, Ramazan can come on for Baturai because I don't really... I can't risk Baturai getting injured, basically. Uh, he can go to... See, this is the thing with Ramazan. All of a sudden, he can't perform the positions he was. It's very strange. But we'll put him on defensive midfielder, on support. We have Drea inside, Zach Hubar. We haven't, we haven't really got anyone on that left side who we could bring on for him. I think we'll just save. We'll save the last one. Obviously, Sahin, Tolga Sahin, he's a little low on his uh, fitness. But we'll save that one, maybe the last five minutes, just to freshen things up. And we are right in the dying embers, and I think this is going to be all she wrote. What a debut Aaron has had in this game, uh, because he's kept a clean sheet with his fellow defenders. And I absolutely love his work. I've loved the work of the team. That's a 4-0 victory. We will now move on to the big one. Hi, okay, ladies and gents, so here we go. This is the last game of today's episode, and a massive, a massive game. It's first versus third. Uh, this is going to be big. If we get a result in this... We, we're potentially on with a chance, and I never in a million years thought I would say that uh, this season. We only just got promoted last year. We did a miracle, and now we're almost performing miracles once again. Uh, we are going with an unchanged team. It would be silly to change a team that's just won 4 0, even if we are going up against the league leaders. So we are going to go with Everton in goal, Furkan, uh, Aaron Engine at the back, uh, Bessie in defensive midfield, Drea, Baturai, Tolga, Zach Huber, uh, Fatty, and Mullen. Mullen is in the goals at the moment. Absolutely loving that partnership. Up top, fingers crossed, we get another positive result. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We get the game underway. And this one is massive, especially where the league is concerned. You will see, as a result of this being nil-nil early on, we've moved up to second place in the table. Um, if we win, that's what dreams are made of. And Fatty, lovely ball over the top and a great save from the goalkeeper. 15 minutes have passed in the game and it is very even. We're dominating the possession. We always do that. There's something about this formation, the way I've put it together, that just seems to dominate that. Um, we're doing all right. We're doing pretty well. This is top of the table, we have to remember. And uh, yeah, we're about some key players as well at the moment, but... We're going all right, and uh, I was about to just stop talking for a little while there, but instead we've come to a little highlight. Furkan is on the ball. It's another long one over the top, and Akhtar isn't going to get there. He just doesn't have the pace. Um, that's a goal kick out. That's good from Tolga. If only he had taken it down, he had plenty of time. He's going to leave that right side open, though, by pressing the player. Come on, win this ball back, lads. Win this ball back. Nothing silly. These t this team has scored a lot of goals this season. Oh, come on. There's terrible marking there from the defenders. We've let him in. And it's 1-0 to the top team. Right, there's a free kick now. Um, we're not playing well. And that's 2-0. I was just looking at the player stats. And we've been all four. And we're 2-0 down. And we've met our match. We've finally, finally met our match. Well, I've come down on the team. We're 2-0 down at half-time. If you're looking at stats and you're looking at all that stuff, it's really even. They've just taken their chances. Uh, we might have to make some changes in this second half. There's a few players that are not performing very well. We're going to have to make changes, big, big changes in this game. Uh, Ramazan, you're coming on. Bessie's been fucking shite. Akhtar not been good. We're going to bring to carry on. Um, 
What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Mullen's not having the best game. Everybody else, though, is all right. Them two in particular were not good, though. Well, we've reached the 60-minute mark. I've gone attacking. We've basically we've got to go for it. They've had 17 shots in the game. We have been nowhere near them. Our away form of late has been a lot better, but just in this game, we have been found out, unfortunately. Uh, that's a good header from their player. But Furkan now on the ball. Just got to find someone. Long one over the top. Mullen, can you press? Oh, no, he can't press. He's going to come back the other way. There we go. Aaron taking the ball down. Come on, find a man. Pass it. What, what is that? It's a waste. The man was there waiting for you, and that's just a waste. Come on, Baturai. Find someone. There we go. Ramazan goes out wide to Tolga. This is good stuff. Can he go and run at the player? Into Baturai. Into Mullen. Baturai's got it again. Oh, and Baturai's put it in the top corner. That is 2-1, and we are back in the game. Right. <laughs> it's not long left that's a cruncher of a challenge and he has been sent off and we are going for it we are going very very attacking and I'm gonna oh I was about to make a change but we've got a free kick let's let, let, let Dreyer take it Dreyer Dreyer's gonna put it away fifth goal of the season 2-2 two, two. we do not know when we're beat right now Come on, win the ball, win the ball, win the ball. Come on, just press the fucking ball. They've got 10 men, but you're crying out loud. Come on, you've got to do better than this. No! Oh, is it the crossbar? Jesus Christ, get it out, Tolga. Well, in what has been an action-packed game, it looks as though it's going to finish... 2-2 and I will happily take it after being 2-0 down in this fixture we do not know when we're beat right now that's full time that's a brilliant draw get in there so here we are my friends we are back at the fixture screen we've got to talk about next episode haven't we uh, but that 2-2 draw is quite unbelievable it has to be said uh, we have been, we've basically come back from the dead there like the undertaker uh, it's unbelievable great episode once again more points picked up when you look at the league table you are going to shit the bed I'm shitting the bed because this is phenomenal we are performing miracles once again um, now usually ladies and gents I would play on games but I'm not actually going to. I'm going to be bringing it right back uh, for the next two games because the next two episodes will work out perfectly then. Uh, so we will be back for the games against Osman the Spore because they are third in the table. And we will also be back for the game against Genkler Beligi because they are fourth in the table. If you think we get two victories in those two games... Things are looking pretty rosy this season. It's quite incredible where we could find ourselves after next episode should we win them games. So we will be back live for those two. Then after that, probably going to play six. We will bring us to the last two of the season. Uh, it would be quite a nice way to kind of round this uh, season off. And a lovely old job, really. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I hope you're looking forward to it. But let's take a look at that league table because it's pretty fucking fantastic. And this is why it's so fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. That draw has taken us to second in the table. Uh, we are sitting in an automatic promotion spot. This is this is quite phenomenal. Um, just brilliant performances from the boys. We've found a strike partnership late in the season that's scoring goals. We've found a midfield that's working. We've found a couple of players that can take free kicks. And it's just coming together beautifully. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. Look how tight it is at the top. There's three teams on 42 points, one on 41, one on 39, one on 38. Couple of losses. It all goes a bit peak tong. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. But it's looking pretty special right now. I'm sure you would all agree. So there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another beautiful episode of FM19, the Hall of Famer. Another couple of great results today. Plenty of goals for you to get your teeth into as well. The draw is by far the better result than the 4-0 win, unbelievably, because that team were top of the table. But if you are new to the channel, my friends, please like, share, and subscribe. That really is appreciated by your boy. If you're an old timer, make sure you share with your friends. We want to get the community massive, don't we? I keep saying each every episode but you know i'm nearly at 3,000 subscribers now so i'm absolutely loving life uh but my friends that is it from me today and uh until next time i've been dan you've been legends this has been fm 19's the hall of famer peace out my homies i salute you all and i'll see you for arguably the biggest episode so far next time around i've said that quite a few times haven't i in the course of the three seasons we've managed but later my friends oh,